Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, sorry I didn't get anything out yesterday. Uh, that storm hit. I had trees down, and uh, I've actually come through the ice storm better than I came through the snow yesterday. So we were we had chainsaws out and the whole deal yesterday. So um, apologies for not getting anything out to you guys yesterday, and it was you know it was a big reversal day too. So I feel you know. It's a day that I really wanted to have stuff out, and, and it just Mother Nature said no. Um, so here, here's where we are now. So let, let's very briefly get my entire take on where we are right now. We had the big drop on Monday. 17.32 half was 60 handles below the 45-day pivot. Those of you that follow the pivots closely, um, uh, you know, were able, you know, could, could see that. So what we have been doing in the room... Uh, we were scaling in long in these lower areas. Uh, we we got you know we got pretty committed long down at 34 half, and then we spent yesterday, you know, I, I spent yesterday taking profits off of that position. So um, the, the the lows and the 45 day pivot uh, served us well to identify what we felt was going to be a snapback rally. And the subscriber webcast. Um, Monday night, you know, I always have a minus two plus one rule. You get a minus two percent day, you tend to get a plus one percent day, and that's what we got yesterday. I mean, that that was basically where we peaked. At 53 half was plus one percent. Then you really saw it, it looked like the bulls were going to be able to put it together, but then you saw that 2 p.m. news uh, about Puerto Rico, and you saw it get knocked down right to 44. The bulls battled that back, but that kind of gave the bears the resolve to really start to turn things back down in their way. So the bears got what they really have not been able to get during the past year, which is a nice piece of news, relevant as it is. I mean, yes, Puerto Rico's bonds are junk. That's not breaking news, okay? But in this market, the way that it's been acting it's, it's used as an excuse to sell. It was used as an excuse for, for bulls who were trading the snapback to take profits. It was used as an excuse for bears to kind of press on things, and we're seeing that this morning. So what, we, what we've seen in Globex is this. A couple pushes down to 37. You saw a move back up here to the, to the daily pivot that's kind of held up in the 44 area. You saw 45 be good early in the evening. Now we're back down to 37.38. I've always said that lows like this, when they come this violently, very rarely, if ever, are not tested almost immediately. So I'm expecting a, a trade down to the 32 area today. Whether that turns into matching lows or whether that gets pushed into lower lows remains to be seen. But for, for what it's worth, uh, I got short last night, uh, 42 half, uh, and I'm just, I, I'm holding it. I haven't done anything with it. I didn't add to it. Um, and I'm so there. I'm up. I'm up four handles as 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 we go. Uh, so we'll see how it goes today. My intention would be to cover some off any dip off the open, and probably take more when we get down to the 32s, and then hold a runner to see if we if we push down to to uh, to lows, uh, to to lower lows rather. Let's look at the daily chart. Let's talk about something I was mentioning to my subscribers last night. I'm in sell rallies mode. Okay, I'm in sell, sell rallies mode, but I'm not a, a confirmed bull, and I'm not going to be a confirmed, you know, a, a confirmed bear rather. You know, we talked about how tight the bands were up here. We talked about how you had to let it choose a direction, and we talked about how there was going to be a um, a lower Bollinger Band ride, and that's exactly what we've had for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've had a 10-day band ride, and you've seen those bands go from as tight as they can be. Now the band, the bandwidth is over eight. So the bands are, you know, at least the lower band is really pretty much blown out. But when you have this kind of compression, when you have compression you haven't seen for more than a year, those those moves will run. And I begged everybody not to buy the first touch of the lower band. That was up at 1817. That would have been an 85 handle loser. So those of you that that blind buy punches of bands, that's not the way to play it when the bands are that tight. So, what am I looking at now? Well, if we continue to be this week, I'm looking at the purple line. I'm looking at the 200-day exponential moving average. That is mean reversion for markets, okay? All this other stuff are just bumps in the road. 
You want mean reversion, you trade down to the 200-day exponential moving average. When's the last time we touched the 200-day exponential moving average? Right here. New Year's Eve, 2012. Off the 200-day, gap and go into 2013, and we haven't looked back for 400 handles. So, I mean, there are there are, are people who are very bullish on the market. All they're, they're always bullish on the market, but there's people that are looking for 1,900, 1,950, 2,000, 2,050, 2,100. You want to get to those areas? Bounce it off the purple line. You will see a short squeeze, the likes of which we haven't seen since 2013. Uh, if you're a bear, what you want to see is you want to see us get below the purple line, the purple line become resistance. Then the bears can have their year. So we're coming into a big moment, I think. I think we will trade down there. So don't get so obsessed with the next three ticks in the market. We're coming into a big moment at the 200-day, and the market's going to have to pick a side. Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow me on Twitter. Check out the webcast, uh, the website. Come check out the chat room. We'd love to have you. We're trading all this stuff in there, and uh, we're having fun, and uh, we're doing well. So um, I will catch everybody tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.